Welcome to DIY RV Home, Camper's Life. My name is Greg. Today, we're going to be doing a test of two different brands of toilet paper. See which one's going to be the best for our RV. Now, normally, we have been doing one of the fan favorites that we've seen quite a bit, which is the Scots One Ply. I've got 10 sheets right here of this. And we're going to be putting that up against a two ply Kirkland brand from Costco. We're going to see which one does the best. So, just to let you know, I did do this video earlier. I don't know where the footage went for this part of it, so that's why I'm reshooting it. But I'm going to show you what we did, tell you a little bit about it, and then we're going to flash back to the rest of the video from a couple days ago. So, I went ahead and took 10 sheets of the one ply, put it into this mason jar filled with water, and capped her up. So let me get this fully capped. So now I've got it fully capped. Went ahead and shook it up, gave it a nice shaking. And we also let it sit overnight. And we went about 60 miles to a new campsite before I opened it up and tried it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you back at that point in time when we are going back and we're going to look at this after a day sitting in the water. And we're back. But we are up at Horse Thief Reservoir now. So we took off, we left from Warm Lake, ran into Cascade this morning, uh, dumped tanks, filled up water, a little grocery shopping, came back up, all excited to come to a uh, Horse Thief Reservoir. Uh, last year, we really enjoyed it. Unfortunately, they done and engineered the campgrounds and screwed them all up. That's for a different story though. We are looking at the toilet paper that we put into the mason jar yesterday. Now she's got about 50 plus road miles on it and almost 24 hours. And if we look, you can actually still see that one ply is got a lot of the fibers are still intact. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to uh, strain out some of the water and then we'll take a look closer look and see at this. So let me uh, do this. And so I'm not putting toilet paper on the ground. I'm just going to hold the lid and we're just going to drain off some of the water. And try not to and try not to lose any of the toilet paper, but it's still it's clean. But look at it, it's still intact. That's one ply toilet paper. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to dump it, get rid of it, clean it out. And I'm going to go ahead and get uh, some of the Costco toilet paper. We're going to put some Costco toilet paper in there. We're going to run it for 24 hours. We're not even going to drive anywhere. We're just going to kind of shake it up. We're going to see what happens. So let me get this drained out. Come right back to you. All right. So what we did is went ahead and dumped that. And we actually dumped it into the toilet because it was actually still toilet paper. I mean, we'd have been just kind of making a mess if we threw it out on the ground. Cleaned it out, put new water in it. Now this is the Costco brand toilet paper, two ply. So we're taking 10 squares of the two ply, so just five, you know, double squared. We're gonna stick it in there. Just like that. Go ahead and cap that one off. Let me set you down for a second. Get you nice and tight. Okay. Now I'm going to just do a quick initial agitation. And now we're going to let it go. As we can see, there it is. So we will come back tomorrow after uh, it sits there for a little bit and see what happens. I'll give it a little shake now and then, but it's not going on no road trips. All right, back at you in a flash. And we're back. It is the next morning. Not quite 24 hours since we have put five squares of the Kirkland brand Costco toilet paper into the mason jar filled with water. Gave it a little shake, let it sit there to see how well it breaks down. As you can see, it looks like it's broke down really, really well compared to uh, Scott's single ply, which is one that a lot of people are recommending. Uh, here's a side by side comparison of them. Let's open it up real quick and we'll fish some of it out. Yes, this is clean toilet paper, folks. 
I won't be doing this on dirty toilet paper. So. And also that Scott went for a trip because we changed campgrounds. I'm actually not able to really get any chunks of toilet paper out. It's just real fine pulp. So for an RV uh, black tank, I think that'd be a, a great option is the Kirkland uh, Costco toilet paper two ply. Yeah. Number one is two ply. Number two is softer than the Scott one ply sandpaper, I mean toilet paper. So folks, if this helped uh, you, please hit the like button, subscribe, share, and until the next one, happy camping.